Hi, this is DOSBOX Mob, and welcome back to Let's Play Tunnels and Trolls. We've just entered the city of Kosht. We came in from the south. This building here has the local healer. And there's a number of interesting places here, I'm sure. Some of which we might even go in right now. So let's start exploring the town. Let's see what's here. This is the Archer's Guild. Do you want some bows? Mm, maybe. Oh, who is Angelus? Do you want some pointers on your lessons on your archer skills? One lesson, five hundred gold. I promise you'll master something. I don't think we've got five hundred gold. You don't have enough money. Okay, so it's possible to improve your archery skills, but I don't think anybody in the party has enough money to. Uh, just okay. Yeah. You know, I've been having trouble getting my characters to use bows up until now, so I should see if they can equip them. Okay, so the, he's currently got his pike equipped. Let's remove the pike. I wonder if there's anything he needs to do beyond having that crossbow equipped to be able to use the bow. Okay. So he's got his crossbow equip. Oh, let's try getting everybody else equipped with a crossbow. Their crossbows. Yeah, I've got to get the Warhammer unequipped. Ah, he might want to sell off his club since he's got a Warhammer now. She can Okay, archery target. And 
around just one spot. Let's take a look. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I don't want to get rid of those chakrams that Sinead and Arwen have until I can make sure that everybody can use bows. Oh, let's see what shops here. This is the Adventurer's Guild. Before you is Guildmaster Gil Thistledown, aka Gil the Mad Hob. You wish to greet him. Sure. And there's some more NPCs that we could hire. And Mad Gil's got a bunch of potions we could buy. Ooh, notice board on the wall. It reads, The Uncertain Isle is believed by the superstitious to be the place where the wizard Kazan waits. They say he'll return when the world needs him most. I say he'll only return when the present rulers of Kazan are out of the way. Well, maybe both. Okay. Now, if I go up this street... Okay, we're now at Forest Gate. We don't want to continue east. That would just take us out of town again. Okay, let's see what's down here. Ooh! Gwen Silverton's Talk Shop. Today's special, Hurt Speak. A svelte elf with a roguish look in her eye. Greets you. Interested in today's special? Heard speak? Sure. Today's price is 400 gold. I know we don't have the gold for it. Who will learn? You don't have enough money. Are you interested in our training schedule? Here's a training schedule, a teaching schedule. It's changed by day. So this is the 16th of the month. So, common elven dwarf hob, which I think are the things we learned in Gull. Yeah. Then, orcish, foulspeak, gobble, necros, primus, barbar, elysian, terran, serpentine, insectoid, blood speech, herd speak, ursian, simian, Low tongue. Ooh, all kinds of good stuff. And this is the gym market. When you enter the shop, you're shocked to see a well dressed troll standing beside the counter. Easy, easy, he says. You must be stranger not to know about me. He does sound exceptionally bright for a troll. I'm Goombu of the Axe Ridge Mountains. I don't hold truck with that befuddled empress up north. She's making trouble for all. I've worked shoulder to shoulder with you human kin for 20 years. Never had trouble with anyone who wasn't looking for it. Treat me fairly and I'll do the same for you. Are you ready to dicker over the price of gems with a troll? Uh, sure. Don't know if I have any gems to sell them, but... Okay. Ah, turn around. And oh, I' not sure if I want to sell those silverfish drinking bowl and cat ring. I'm going to look these up in the clue book real quick.
Okay. Well, that cat ring might help us if we want to go back into the sewers of Gull. It might help us get past that one fellow. So maybe we should hang on to that at least for now. But what about the silverfish drinking bowl? See, I think one of the reviews of Tunnel Controls listed the items that we need to have. Okay. Yeah, from the first of the two reviews that were done in Computer Gaming World back in 1990. Crystal Skull, Heart of Fire, Demon's Eye, Horde, and Wuhan, Kazan, Staff, Bag of Wind. So we could probably sell off the Silverfish Drinking Bowl. I don't think that does anything. Ooh, 700 gold. Like that. Okay. I think we'll hang on to the cat ring until we've completed the sewers of, of Gull. Now. Hmm. Who's got the highest IQ? That would probably be the best to have. Okay. Oh, wow. Yoda done got smart. So we could have Yoda or Arwen maybe learn herd speak. Okay. Well, let's try Arwen first. Okay, Arwen has learned her speak. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get back in there. Oh, they closed. Well, we'll divvy up the gold, the remaining gold. Hello, Lost in Blue! Are you well? I came down here to use the bathroom. Oh, okay. Lost in Blue walked by, but she can't stay right now. Yeah, I need to restart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah. And that's obviously where the Magic Users Guild is. Knave's Way? Okay. Meadows Crown General Store. You're met by a dark-haired elven woman of uncommonly severe pe features. Before you ask, she says, prices are high. Take it or leave it. People are starting to get scared of what's happening up north. And they'd like to clean me out. She folds her arms and waits to see if you want to buy anything. Do you wish to shop? Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 <coughs> Actually, I don't think there's anything we want to buy here because I think we've got plenty of food. We probably want to find the leather shop. There's the magic guild. We might come back to in a minute. 
another vlog. Two women are talking together. I knew a lovely little goblin girl when I was a child, says one. But now there's a tr now that there's trouble to the north, I wouldn't know if I'd trust her or her kind anymore. The other responds stoutly. There's still some fair folk among the monster kind, and every ogre wants to he eat human hearts for breakfast. They stop you as you pass. What do you think, stranger? Is the only good monster a dead monster? Uh, one woman looks significantly at the other, and they walk away together. I mean, we just sold a silverfish drinking bowl to a troll gem dealer. He was decent enough. Okay, Street of Good Cheer. The Temple of the Money Gods always has a great many attenders. On your right as you enter is an idol of copper, on your left one of silver. Against the back wall, to the right, stands a golden figure, and to the left, one of white gold. Okay. The wealth represented the wealth represented by the statues alone leaves you breathless. Okay, we'll probably want to come back here later. There's another town we need to go to to meet somebody. And then we come back here and make a donation. So, I, what are you doing? Um, wandering around the city of Kost. Okay. Um, the gem dealer up in the northeast part of town is a troll, and we sold the silverfish drinking bowl we got from the dragon slayer to him. And then there was a language teacher across the street from him, and we had Arwen learn herd speak from her. So she can talk to cows now? Yes. The old cootie tavern and inn. Okay. Uh, we probably don't want to know what an old cootie is. Uh, probably not. Butterman Bread, proprietor and barkeep, looks at you. Do you wish to talk with him? Wow, uh, he looks a bit... What is up with his face? Uh, Does he have... tanning salon! Okay, I'm guessing... Actually... Oh! The shopkeeper kicks you out as he closes the shop for the morning. Usually they just leave the door locked. <laughs> so it's like, would you like to buy stuff? Yes! Well, you can't! Get out of here! <laughs> yeah. Um, I wonder if the magic guild is going to be open. It sounds sort of like that old trick where people are like, ask you, do you want to ask me out for dinner tonight? <laughs> They're like, uh, no. You okay. sure? Ask me out, darling. <laughs> no, I'm going to go out for dinner with me. No! I have other plans! Uh-huh. Well, so funny. I'm going to save the game here and then have Arwen try to learn some spells at the Magic Guild. Apparently, wizards aren't allowed to use whips. Oh, yeah. Which stinks. Yes, because... Yeah, well, like... Never mind, I'm not going to finish that. Oh, okay. Go on it. Bye. Okay, so Arwen goes into the Wizards Guild by herself. As you approach the administrator of this guild, Rowan Spiderhawk greets you... Rowan Spiderhawk seems to have some sort of face mask across the lower half of his face. He uh, looks like one of the Fremen from the theatrical movie version of Dune, I think. So, wait, where is his face? It's hiding. Aha, uh -huh, most superheroes only cover their eyes. I shall cover the lower half of my face, thereby saying that I'm evil. Mm hmm. Well, I could pick up these guys and... Wait, Malik? Yeah. You can hire Malik! Okay. 
Is this like somebody from Mass Effect or? No, Knights of the Republic. He was a oh. Lord of the Sith. Malik, what happened to you? <laughs> I knew I beat you pretty bad, but come on. Ooh. Also, how'd you get your jaw back? <laughs> Magic. Okay, let's... Okay. Well, some of these spells are more useful than others. And she's only got enough money to learn one at this point. Ah. Okay, one of the forums at Flying Buffalo, they suggest... Okay, well, we've got Take That You Fade, and oh, there it is from level one. But they suggest Poor Baby, Hidey Hole. From... So let's see what those do. Okay, poor baby cures one point of damage for one character's constitution. While or, you all the while. Or hidey hole makes Caster and his party invisible for three rounds. Cool. Which one shall we learn? Uh, what does Rye baby do again? Poor baby. Poor baby. No. Cures one point of damage for one character's constitution. Um, uh, or if we want to to learn some other ones. Uh, little feats, double speed for one character or monster for one round. Omni-Eye reveals information about an item. Or Whammy enchants a weapon so it's three times as effective. But they, they suggest that uh, Poor Baby or Hidey Hole are the most useful. Not usually. Alright, so go with Hidey Hole. Okay. That sounds kind of interesting. And, like, it could actually be helpful. Okay. Now, I'll have her new best friends that she just hired. Give their stuff to Arwen. Okay, they each have a dirk and heavy boots. Uh, maybe have them give their boots to Arwen. We want your shoes! <laughs> Arwen demands your shoes! Uh. Yeah, this is very similar to the old roll up a spare PC and strip them of their starting gold that you might remember from the gold box game. So we're going to save the game at this point and find our way back to the tavern in the next episode and pick up the rest of the party. See you then.